just bought this like a little, I don't know, curry, potato y. It tastes nice. Just to go at the servo. We're pretty close now. Maybe 60k's to go. Can't wait. I don't know where the hotel is. I don't need to go to the toilet. <laughs> My underpants are wet. <laughs> oh, I finally got hit with rain. We're here with all these guys. Look, under here, it's pouring down. We made it to Quail. Look. I put this on, not too bad, not too wet, so it's pretty good. But I don't know where to go, so this is the hard part because I can't put my phone out and the GPS is not working, so I'm gonna ask this guy if he can help me. Okay, so the rain stopped and then it didn't. Do you think I'm wet? Have you ever heard the expression I'm soaked to the nuts. <laughs> I don't have words. I'm so wet. I don't know where the hotel is. The GPS doesn't work. It won't hold the map. I need to get to the toilet. <laughs> my shoe, my shoes are so wet. My underpants are wet. Everything wet. Well, we know. I, I'll soon know whether or not this backpack is waterproof. I can tell you. All my other stuffs in there. There we are. Hey, can you take a video of me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. I just asked the, the security guards at the P Malaysian parliament, can you believe it? I'm, I'm freezing cold and I'm lost. Let's go, stage five. Okay, so ep episode 58,000 to try and get to the hotel soaking wet. Look at that, that's my gloves. These guys are helping me. We came up with a strategy. We're getting a grab taxi car and I'm gonna follow it there. I like it, good idea. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, I'm so cold and wet. Oh my goodness. When I came up this road, I saw that. <laughs> Help University. I said I gotta turn in here somewhere. Okay, so this is my guy. Hello. I just got today, I got no SIM card. I need to follow you. Look, I'm wet to the core. Okay, drive slowly, okay? Okay, you're a champion. Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Okay, I'll be following you. All right, we got our guy. Let's go. Get some of this, I think. So it's a day after last night. My goodness, that was crazy. I was drenched to the bone. Had to dry everything with the head right. I've just got this. I don't know what it is. Let's have a taste. Oh yeah, thank you. Let's try the coffee. Yeah, good. Wow, that's spicy. So, um, my hotel Wi-Fi is completely no good. So I'm driving around trying to find somewhere to get a SIM card. They're not open till 10 o'clock. I've been to five little restaurants. No one's got Wi-Fi. 
There's no little cafes. Kuala Lumpur, right? Anyway, I'll uh, update you when I get the SIM card. Oh, here we go. Hello. Digi store. Hello. So travel sometimes is like persevering when you're getting nails rammed into your feet and your eyes. <laughs> um, I'm now on to booking.com. I'm getting out of that hotel. It's terrible. I don't have a window. That wasn't advertised. And the internet hasn't worked for 24 hours. I've got friends in KL. I haven't been able to contact them. All of a sudden I've gone quiet for 24 hours. They'd be thinking like, what is he doing? and i just feel like a complete idiot and this hotel is just i mean i can't stay in a room with no window i just feel so claustrophobic i never would and it wasn't advertised anyway so i just went the whole rigmarole on booking.com to try and get through to someone i've just got a sim card for malaysia so now i'll be active and it'll never happen again what happened to me last night in the rain i couldn't find where i was going that was absolutely terrible and I was freezing and I was soaked down to everything if you can know what I mean so the plan is I'm on hold hopefully Kim who's on the other end of this who understood my position is going to come back and say that she's convinced the hotel to let me go out of there without paying she'll book me a new hotel and I will just go there get my stuff unfortunately I have to pack up again and then I'm out of there to the new hotel. That's the goal. Camera no Camera no allowed. No camera? Okay, no camera. I've got to turn it off. I got told off. That's okay. So the good thing is, like, let's look at the good thing. You know, I put that plastic over my two bags on the, on the motorbike. They didn't get wet. It worked perfectly because I had the shoes at the base. And... Uh, the backpack was waterproof, it worked. And I mean, I was completely drenched. So I'm really happy about that. That was a great, I thought, I, was, I opened that backpack and I thought, is it, has it made it, is everything wet? No, it was dry. So both of my bags in front of me and also the backpack all dry. And that was torrential rain, so it can't get any heavier than that unless I drive actually through a river and go underwater like a submarine. So I'm still waiting, 16 minutes now on this call, and then I'll get motorbike, go back, hopefully move out, and get in contact with some people. building again ah. and there's the KL towers right there they look smaller through the video but I tell you they're pretty huge and that one there apparently is about 300 meters tall so it's like crazy tall so I'm gonna go in and the lightning's going as well 
So I'm in the pool, 40 levels up, 40 stories up. Watch this. Look at this. <laughs> oh man, that's freaky. Look, you can see all the way down to the ground. Let's go under. See the pools up there. Have a look at that. It's got to be some big perspex or big glass or whatever that is. I can tell you. Wow. Guess where I am? I'm on top of the roof at the apartment complex I'm staying in KL, Kuala Lumpur, Central Malaysia. And uh, look at this. So I'm sort of renting an apartment for uh, a few weeks, maybe a month. Let's see how we go. And on the top of the roof here, it is just private. Like no one's coming up here. And it's, it's probably a nine, 10 story building. And for some reason, no one uses the pool, so it's my pool. <laughs> A little bit cloudy today, very hot. As it is, very hot in Malaysia. What do you reckon? Am I doing okay? I think I'm doing well. So it's probably like 30 days in. I've been mixing up the diet now. I'm not fully on this carnivore anymore. Obviously, I'm putting some vegetables. Uh, having some sugar. I had a coconut shake last night. It was delicious with ice cream in it But I'm keeping the exercise going. I'm about to go do a walk And I'm happy. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the progress. So look obviously there's still a Fair bit to go But step in the right direction So for today's video, I just thought I'd start to introduce something a little bit different. And I just wanted to just speak to those people out there, or to anyone really, including myself, about how to relax. You know, just how to chill out when you're feeling anxious or you're feeling stressed. Because I know that, particularly in the world now, anxiety is a huge thing. And people are becoming more and more anxious, right? And I think this is something that we can deal with. So it's gonna take like a few minutes now and try something and see if it helps you in your life. And what we're gonna do is we're just going to, just for a moment, just take a couple of minutes and just relax your mind. Just let your mind settle and let it just listen to the sound of my voice. And as you listen to the sound of my voice, look at the beauty of the pool and the rippling of the water. 
And what we're going to do is when I say now, we're going to take a really deep breath in through the nose, right down into the diaphragm. And the diaphragm, you'll notice, is, is when you're stretching your belt out. So that's how you know that you've brought the air right down into the diaphragm. So let's do that now, in through the nose. Let your belly come out, hold it, and breathe out through your mouth. Let's do it again two more times. As you're breathing out, just let all that negativity, all that worry go. Just let it flow out. Just let it wash off. Don't hold it anymore. Breathe in. You know you're loved, you know you're important to this world, you know there's a plan for you and good things ahead. Yes, there are going to be some trials, particularly in 2023, there's no doubt about it. And sometimes in 2023 it's going to be pretty tough. But in those times, hold on, be brave. Give yourself some self-love. You know, we spend enough time with that negative voice, right? Speaking to ourselves. I'm hopeless. I'm a failure. I'm a loser. I'm no good. Nobody loves me. I can't do anything well. I'm not succeeding. I'm not as good as that person or somebody else. Do you know what? You're you. And there's no other you on the planet. That's the key. But there's no one else designed just like you. What's up, Buzz Lightyear? <laughs> it's cute. Woody hanging on for dear life. Well, it's a very different culture, that's for sure. I think we'll take some time to get used to. I've done well today. I set my goal at 10,000 steps, which, mind you, I haven't done for a while. And I'm at about 9,000. So I'm very impressed with myself. That is where the market is and uh, we missed it tonight. I don't know if I didn't expect it to close at 7.30. Anyway, tomorrow we'll get it. It's incredible. I think I've got to get one of those coconut shakes again.